How survivors? This is me, Purpose and reporting to you. Hope you guys are doing well because what's, what's going on in this world is not. Now, I want to check out these prices of these juices and Gatorades. That's $379 for uh, this is a whole case. If it is, that's pretty good for a whole case. Y'all, I keep Gatorade. I'm gonna tell you why for medical purposes, like you know, if somebody gets sick, get the hot, become dehydrated, you're gonna need that Gatorade. So, you know, a part of your preps, that's something that I would really, really highly consider. Um, uh, like I like this kind of meat down, milk down here because it lasts long. Like, you know, they have the almond milk too for four dollars. I'm gonna go ahead and get that. I usually get canned milk. Um, well, I hope I shouldn't threw it down like that because you know that kind of milk lasts long. And then this regular milk they got going on, I don't even know what it is, y'all. So I don't even bother with it. 187 for one of these. You can really just make the tea, but I'll get it already made. Lot, sorry about that. I'm okay. so sorry. Let me move my That's basket. Okay. That's okay. <laughs> okay, have a good day. Uh -uh. Now, this apple okay. juice. 236. How many of those you want? This for the tots. So hopefully they did the right thing. Not putting all that sugar in it. Like I was just saying, a lot of these beverages are full of sugar. So y'all be careful when y'all giving this stuff to your children, you know? You don't want their body to go in shock with so much sugar. I never gave my daughter, you know, a lot of sugary products raising her about a lot of fruit you know and when she was young she used to like going to that mac mac D's, the restaurant with those arches i used to give her some ice cream but i stopped buying this stuff for her because this stuff is deadly allegedly i'm a, oh, no problem you know you're okay um oh yeah let's go down here look at the prices of this of um, now these crackers they didn't want up. Y'all remember when the crackers used to be like 99 cents? A dollar 78. They double the price now. The devil is a lie. Now they have some scarcity right here. Mm -hmm. I like chocolate milk. I'm gonna get this. Here. I got a lot of this stuff in my prep supply, but um, I'm not there in that city. I'm a, um, everywhere I go, wherever I am, I'm make sure I have a lot of food. That's for sure. By the grace of God, and I, I'm grateful because some people can't even get food, you know? I, you know, I try not to complain y'all about, I don't have this, and I, I don't have that. Uh, y'all, look at what you have and be grateful for what you have, and God will, uh, He'll, God will triple your supply of stuff. You know, when we look at what we have instead of what we don't have, and be grateful for it. Look at the things that we can do and that we do have. And say, okay, I mean, I have this now, but I'm, I have the potential to still get it. You know, I put my mind to it. I work a little harder or, you know. I'm just learning to be grateful in all situations and conditions. I used to be sad because I really don't have, you know, parents. I, I grew up without parents, you know. But then I started thinking about the goodness of God, you know, how God always supply my needs and God has been more than a mother, more than a father to me. I just be so happy about that. I think about it. I'm like, well, you know, the miracles that occur in my life, I don't even know if my parents would have been able to even to do the, those types of things for me. I mean, God is truly, and, and God does truly provide, you know? I'm just grateful. I may not be a rich millionaire person, but God, every day I wake up, that's another opportunity to do something with my life and uh, to have things. It's, it's just an opportunity. And I, excuse me. Try not to thrive on the past. People like to, oh, woe is me. This happened. That happened. A lot of stuff happened to all of us. We got to keep going. Oh, we got to keep going, you know? So look, 617 for those Oh, it's three ninety eight for those. Two sixty eight. I, I like. I love olives. This one ninety three. I'm gonna get those. Oh yeah, and I keep vinegar. Vinegar is really good. I put vinegar on my salad. I don't put all that junk on my salad. 
you know, all that heavy sugar ranching. I mean, it's good, don't get me wrong. <laughs> but uh, vinegar is a healthier option. It's much more healthier and uh, it's pickles that went up, y'all. $4.97 for the whole thing. And I see, if I had a vehicle with only now, I just get the whole thing. I like to stack up on pickles. Yeah, last a long time. 98 cents for that pasta. Mm -hmm. I like certain types of pasta. Um, you know, I always grab me a, y'all know I always grab me a, <laughs> um, a bag of beans and a bag of rice when I come to this market. Always, it's just a dollar. You have a bag of beans and rice. And, uh, you can't go wrong having too much, too much, uh, beans and rice. This is expensive, but I'm gonna get one, three for 10. This is my little guilty pleasure I get. I love that success rice, but it's so much. You know, it's, uh, it's convenience and for me. Cause I be working all the time, and all the time to sit there be cooking all this stuff. But uh, that jasmine rice, a bag of it. I always say I'm not gonna get too much, and I grab, you know, a little bit more than what I initially planned on getting. I usually write me a list instead of just coming, and I don't never come to the store instead of just coming to the store picking up stuff. And I don't like ever coming to the market hungry. <laughs> That's another thing I hate doing that because you end up buying a bunch of stuff. Ugh, be careful if you walking home with your food too, because I'm telling you, somebody, some man just approached me walking here, somebody, hey, you come here. I mean, just so disrespectful. People so disrespectful these days and times. I'm glad I wasn't raised like that. Somebody, I know you. I said, I don't know you. And I made sure he didn't get nowhere on me because I would have pulled out that knife. And, uh, he said, I do know you. You talked to me last week. I said, no, you didn't talk to me. And I kept going. And he got an attitude because I wouldn't stop and talk to him. Now, this is a complete stranger. Got mad at me because I wouldn't talk to him. That's why I told y'all women, y'all be careful, man. I mean, people, and some of these men feel like they're entitled. And some women feel like they're entitled. But I'm talking about in the case of a, being a female. Like, you just got to talk to them and you just got to stop and acknowledge whatever. You're a stranger to me. I was brought up to not talk to strangers. People, some people I know, I don't talk to them neither. I'm gonna go ahead and get this to this is only 178. Y'all be careful out here. Y'all um please follow me on my other platforms. We have survivalism gear on my website. <clears throat> y'all don't ever have to get anything from me. Y'all make sure y'all get some survivalism gear these days and times you don't want to be on the other end of not prepared if something happened out here god forbid a nuclear attack or something because these people that's running the world are evil and they have an ugly agenda i mean ugly god's not pleased and they're not going to continue to be able to keep doing this and they're going to suffer in their future generations going to suffer too for what they're doing to the masses so y'all watch this world watch the weather smell your water Purify your water before you use it. Please do. Because y'all know they're trying to eradicate a lot of folks, allegedly. And keep surviving. 